Welcome, grab your water bottle and join me as we go through my art in my sketchbook. We're gonna do a quick sketchbook tour of my Avian August paintings that I created for the month of August. I am very excited to show you my red siskin. So this was done in gouache. Day two was the flame-breasted fruit dove. And then we have the Guadalupe hunko, I think. Then we have the yellow-eyed penguin. I really liked how this one turned out. And as you can see, it is a full page. It did take a little bit longer, but it was a lot of fun. This is the Puerto Rican nightjar. And the problem with them is that they are very active at night. So of course, all the pictures are very, very dark. So I did not do a good job and I admit it, it, I did not do the Puerto Rican night jar justice, and I apologize. Um, then we also have the golden-shouldered parrot. Then we have the Mali emu wren, which is from Australia. So this was day eight, and this is where I had a lot of fun with gouache. And my thinking was that maybe these would make really good greeting cards. The yellow cardinal was number 10. Similar to the glittering star frontlet, I had a good time with the yellow cardinal. They are from South America, and it's apparently something to do with their genes that they turn yellow instead of red. All right, then we got, went on to the Mauritius Kestrel. So if, as you can see with the California condor, I kind of just added in some flowers that were pretty, and I outlined the California condor in purple to make it stand out a little bit. Um, they are not very attractive birds, so I tried to make it a little bit more attractive by adding some other elements to it. Brown capped rosy finch. This one I just I ran out of time on. I did my best in the amount of time that I had. Um, not super happy with that one, but that's okay. All right, then we had the Christmas Island frigate bird. So I wanted to give the sun conure its due justice because conures are super cool parrots. And I was experimenting, as you can see here, with some watercolor and with some gouache as well. Okay, so then there's the Hawaiian crow, which my idea was thinking that like, if you have a video camera looking at Hawaii, the crow is gonna come and say hello because that's just what crows do. They are cheeky. Um, then we have the lesser florican, which is a bird that's from India, kind of similar to a peacock. They have these things on their heads. The, the Hawaii Akapa doesn't have all these spots on it, but I was just trying to make it look cool. Um, I just like adding dots to things. I don't know why. Um, after that, we had the Elfin Woods Warbler. And this actually is not my final version of this. So let me grab my iPad and I can show you what that ended up looking like. So this was the warbler that I'm talking about. And um, I did this really quickly, but as you can see, like here was the sketch and here was the finished result. So very similar to what I was going for. If I'm being completely honest, I think I got it confused with a different bird. But here's what I came up with, the Lear's Macaw. All right, so then we have Loveridge's Sunbird, and this is a bird from Africa. But uh, this one is very similar to some of the birds that I've seen in South Africa. If you go to Kirstenbosch Gardens, you'll see that these sunbirds are all over the place. I think this was from Tanzania, the Guadalupe Merlet. I had to do this very early in the morning one day, so this is what we came up with. All right, so here's the mannequin. I don't really know how to pronounce its name. What I really liked about it was that it kind of had a mohawk. Uh, maybe I'm wrong about that, but that's what it looked like. Day 24 was the kakapo, which is a bird in New Zealand, which is a huge, it's the biggest parrot. It's the fattest parrot. It's a flightless parrot. Then we had the spoon-billed sandpiper, which I decided I was gonna make this one be flying because this is a sandpiper, so it's at the beach most of the time. Then we have Lulu's Toady Flycatcher. Then we have the Red-Breasted Goose, which I just thought was pretty cool looking. I made this look a little bit more inky uh, on my iPad. Had fun with that. Then we have the Brown Teal. I did not have enough, a lot of time with this one, so you get what you get. 30 days of doing this is a lot. Um, this is the Kiwi. Uh, again, another New Zealand bird that is very difficult to find. Um, and then... This one I spent a lot more time on because I think this day fell on like a Saturday or something. So I had more time to spend on it. I was watching a movie at the same time. 
Um, I decided to go with more of an Art Nouveau feel because I love this bird. This bird is so beautiful. Um, I really enjoyed the feathers and the designs on the feathers, the just how that worked out. And then uh, I really had a good time making this. I think this turned out really great and I really want to use this for a greeting card maybe one day. And then my last one was the Scops Owl. This one, again, I ran out of time, didn't have enough time. I didn't really put a lot of effort into it, I'm very sorry. Uh, so there you have it, I have 31 birds in 31 days, and I had a great time. I think my favorites were this Bornean Peacock Pheasant, the Sun Conure, the Glittering Star Frontlet, and the Yellow Cardinal. I just really had such a good time with these, and once I got into the groove of it, I was really enjoying it. I also really liked how I did the yellow-eyed penguin, and um, just that it was a little bit different in terms of composition as well. So if you made it this far, thank you so much. Again, let me know what your favorite bird is in the comments below, and I'll see you around next time for my full sketchbook tour, which will be happening in the next couple of months. Alright, thanks, take care, and don't forget to make more art.